question and answer time. That is what Kingdom Team All Call is all about. And it's all about you and your questions that you can submit over at KingdomReportLive.com. We have the form button for you there, or you can leave it in the comment section just underneath this video, and we'll do our best to get back to you and maybe even read it out here in a broadcast. Today's question comes to us from Caleb Thomas. He asks, do you think Disneyland will bring back parades and or fireworks in 2021? Is it worth waiting to buy tickets until then? This touches on something that we have talked about in the past, and that is, um, you know, sort of understand what you're getting yourself into when it comes to joining Disney parks once again during this pandemic restricted mode. Things are very different. Things are very much limited in terms of what uh, overall is being offered from coast to coast, Disney World, Disneyland, theme parks are just doing things differently. And while we did see Walt Disney World um, bring back some low-level pyrotechnics on their castle around Christmas time, uh, even they, for the most part, uh, have not really had any full-scale parades, fireworks, things like that. So do we anticipate Disneyland bringing parades or fireworks back in 2021? A lot is changing quickly. And, as we like to say, things are very fluid when it comes to what's going on in terms of restrictions and the way California has been handling the reopening process radically different from what we've been seeing in Florida. I'm willing to bet that we're likely to see these things happen in Florida before we see them in California. But let's ask the panel what they think. Tyler Crouch, Katrina Manzoni, and Garrett Hassel all here to share their perspective on what they think. Uh, speculation you know, what we might see in terms of Disneyland bringing these things back. Uh, Katrina, let's start with you. Do you think in 2021 we'll see it? Unlikely is my answer. Uh, I think that Disney World would probably see it way before Disneyland just because Disneyland is such a tight, tight area that like Disney World would be like the guinea pig to kind of test it to see because they already do cavalcades and whatnot. So mm -hmm. I feel like they would be the first ones to do it since they, they kind of own that property. So they're able to do fireworks whenever they really want to. And then they're able to do, you know, the parades whenever they want to. I feel like maybe Disneyland might like dabble in some kind of like, like little light show or something, maybe by like the mm. very, very end of the year for Christmas or something. But I, I wouldn't hold my breath um, hoping that something would happen in the next like few months or something. Um, and then, you know, is it worth buying tickets? If you, it's up to you if you yeah. really want to buy tickets Manage to come visit, right? you know, because again, like if your heart is set on parades and fireworks, then don't come mm -hmm. and don't waste your money on it. But if you want to go to Disneyland to see Disneyland and like ride rides and just enjoy the atmosphere, then yes, by all means, please come, you know, and enjoy it. But, but if you're the one that just really needs to see those two things, then don't come until they have them. Yep, 2021, a lot of things are changing quickly here in the state of California that we've already seen. I mean, we went, we went from one week where um, out-of-state visitors were not allowed to another week where suddenly out-of-state visitors are allowed with some precautions in place. So we're already seeing things change rapidly. We also hear June 15th in the state of California, a time when the state government is saying, we are back in business. We're going to roll back a bunch of restrictions and California is going to be back to some semblance of normalcy, far much more normal than we've seen in 2020. Uh, so Tyler, we'll throw it on over to you parades fireworks 2021 i think in some capacity yeah i i don't think it's gonna be like i don't think it's gonna be like hey let's make the best biggest fireworks show we've ever seen it's not gonna be that it'll it'll <laughs> be some attraction to bring everyone to watch these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i actually think if they're gonna do anything they might bring back a classic fireworks show that they've oh. had before you know and that could be just something like to get more fireworks. people to come you know like if if they are actually struggling with attendance you know with the <clears throat> With the lack of the pass holders, then maybe they will bring some classic thing back, you know, much like they did when California Adventure was struggling. They brought back the electric light parade, right? So several times they've done. Yeah, exactly. They do that <laughs> a lot. So it's, that's one of those, you know, very real possibilities. Um, I also could expect World of Color, maybe, um, maybe at a lower capacity or something mm -hmm. possible. But uh, especially something like World of Color, it, yeah, it costs them money. Don't get me wrong. But it's like, that's a show that like nobody has to like reset like it's you know it's, locked and loaded yeah, yeah it's easy to go and and that's ready to go it's like the bellagio fountains over in vegas right <laughs> so those things are just going all night so um i could see that sort of thing happening um full-blown parade 
is a possibility in 2021, I think, especially because they just built one right before COVID happened and they only got to run it for a month or so. Right. And so, I mean, you know, that'll come in some capacity. And like what they do in uh, Disney World is they will bring out just like one float at a time or something every now and then. So maybe it'll be that at first. But I could see these things coming back in 2021. And much like Katrina said, if this is all up to you, I, I would say for me, a thousand percent, I would go and buy a ticket because fireworks, parades, those are fun and they're pluses, but they're not why I go to Disney. So for me, I would totally go. But for you, it sounds like you really care about the fireworks and the parade. So maybe hold off if you don't have, you know, the resources at hand, you know, to do this, to do, go to Disney multiple times. But remember, there's going to be pluses and minuses, too. You're going to be able to go on possibly more rides because there won't be fast pass. But on top of that, there are also staggering people. So maybe the capacity won't be as good. It's like things are going to be a lot different. So like Wade said, like we've all said countless yeah. times, manage your expectations. It's all about you. And even if you did have fireworks, it it's California. If we have even just a, a baby little kiss of wind, it'll be canceled. So no matter what you you that yeah. like the fire or the parades will always happen. Like they'll never get canceled. Unless it's like downpouring or something. If somebody coughs without a mask on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then then we're canceled. The That's it. We're yeah. going home. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I will say, too, uh, something that I saw recently on Twitter was somebody got some photos of the roof of the new Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway oh, yeah. in Toontown and built on top of that roof are a bunch of uh, fireworks cannons. Oh, my so, gosh. So they're 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 not getting rid of fireworks. They're, they are oh, expecting them ready. to come back. They they're they're there's all these cannons on top of that roof. Which is, seems to be a much safer place than uh, they used to be, <laughs> because they were kind of in this middle of these warehouses, and Toontown was a war zone. Anyway, it was, yeah. um, <laughs> so uh, you know, I, I could totally see fireworks in 2021. It's the Great Battle at Toonsburg; those cannons yes, were fought, yes. and now they're on top <laughs> of now they're on top of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway shell of a building uh, in which it is still to come yes we jump out to walt disney world where garrett hassel our florida reporter is standing by who has seen many of these sort of small scale cavalcade type parades where they do have the one unit sort of moving about at all the parks really uh for the most part we are seeing those little mini parades happen and dare i say it's even far more magical when you don't know that it's coming and a Oh, Great I love Animal Kingdom when they have like the little characters go by on the, the river. Boats, yeah. The boats, those are like the fun, like fun ones because you they never know who's going to come out. Yeah, they turn a corner and there they are and the music's playing. Oh, it's it, fun. It's we a even lot saw of fun, Sandy Claus. Yeah. You never know who's going to come around the corner. Uh, so it's a wonderful thing to experience, but Walt Disney World has had far more experience doing it since last summer when they uh, originally reopened the theme parks. And uh, as I had mentioned here early on, they brought back some low-level fireworks on Cinderella Castle during Christmas time. So, Garrett, what do you think? Uh, 2021, Disneyland going to see these things return, and is it worth buying a ticket? As optimistic as I truly am, even with the exciting and music behind me. I don't think 2021 is realistic just because of how strict California is when compared to a place like Orange County here in Florida. Uh, I would love to see fireworks. I'd love to see a little pop, pop, pop off the castle or something, but I don't think it's gonna be likely. If there is gonna be parades, it'd be a cavalcade, of course, and it would be, I think, happening at uh, California Adventure rather than Disneyland Park just because the, wide, the walkways are significantly wider, meaning you can have the guests stand back because if you have a, a parade pool going down Main Street, it is bottleneck tight. Even if you're trying to walk through it, you're bumping children people and this is going to try to avoid that as much as possible. So I don't think uh, that's likely. Shows and fireworks 2022. It all depends on how fast California can, you know, get that vaccine rolled out and how uh, and what essentially the state says is going on. Um, but on, on the positive, on the positive, um, I would go to the parks. Like me, I, I'm out of state, but I would spend the money to go experience Disneyland because I've experienced it before. And with there being significantly lower crowds, as well as, yeah, just lower crowds in general, I can experience the things that I love about it, whether it is the atmosphere that we've spoken about many times, such as that twilight hour on Main Street where all the lights are just listening with that, with that California sunset. He's going to cry. Uh, <laughs> The music, it just changed into something more, uh, more like heavy, but 
uh, the atmosphere of Disneyland along with the attractions and even socially distant character greetings, that to me would be, would be worth the ticket. Uh, I'm not as big of a fireworks or parade person as others are. Some people go strictly for that. They're like, you got to see the three o'clock parade, even though we don't know what time it's at. <laughs> they go for that. But for me, it's about the environment and feeling that Walt energy that we've spoken about many times. So I would go, but uh, I have a little bit of a different philosophy when it comes to Disneyland than others do. I don't need the whole enchilada. I'm okay with happy enchilada and a good amount of chips and salsa, so to speak. So <laughs> I would go to Disneyland, but in 2021, I don't think uh, parades are going to come back at Disneyland. California Adventure, more likely just because it's a little bit wider there. So fingers crossed, but um, I would still I would still check it out. And I would hang out with all of you guys. You know, we go on Indiana Jones Adventure because it's my favorite attraction. And I want to go on, uh, I especially want to go on uh, Winnie the Pooh's Adventure with Tyler. Mm. And I want to go on. You know, I'm sorry. Out-of-state residents Tyler. aren't allowed yeah. to sorry. come to Disneyland. I, I apologize. Uh, we're going to have to wait. And even then, we probably won't be able to join you. We'll be Social busy. distancing and whatnot. Yeah. Sorry. My calendar's that's okay. I, I just wanted to hold Tyler's hand as we go on Smuggler's Run. That's uh, all I wanted. Social distancing. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah there will probably 2023 before the state allows no. hand holding. Don't so, touch me. Like, yeah. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. Bring I'm, some... I'm, a, I'm a hug Christian then. Christian. He likes me. He's Christian's lovely. like, he's I don't want to get into this. Human shield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfectly fine with that, Garrett. Oh. oh. I'll accept the love. Oh. oh thank How great. You. Thank you. Christian, you yeah. could you could put Garrett on your shoulders and go on in down Main Street. Aww. Have that uh, Wait, father-son moment. Christian, how tall are you, by the way? Seven uh, one. He's sure. a tall guy. Yeah. yeah. It's Seven amazing. One. Okay. He can't even like walk got, into the room here. He should here be a pro wrestler. <laughs> yeah. he, he's got 11 inches on me, so yeah, he all right on his shoulders will just be this 13 foot giant going down Main Street riding Winnie the Pooh. Christian, take Let's your shot. Take your shot, Christian. Show show yourself uh, in the production dungeon. There's a reason why he has to be sequestered away from all of us. It's because he can only fit in that room. <laughs> this uh, the the camera is just far more taller to make me look smaller. Yeah, the the, oh. the camera shot is located on the ceiling. A lot of people yeah, don't realize that. Movie so, magic right here. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people don't know about it. Is that one of those standing desks that people use too? Yep. That's, maybe, what yeah, that's exactly yeah, what's happening. Yeah. So now you know. Pay no attention to the chair that he's sitting in. Maybe one day you can visit the <laughs> studio, Garrett. Maybe one day. But. I, I, I keep trying to get out there, but I go out the gate. I'm like, can I come to the show? And they're like, you know what you're talking about. I'm like, the Kingdom Report. They're like, yeah, we have no report of kingdoms here. That's that's down the road. And I'm like, yeah. okay. nobody's ever given you directions. Universal I don't think either. At Hogwarts, yeah. and they're like, this isn't that kind of kingdom, kid. Get out of here. Like, yeah, yeah it's a long, it's a long walk. It's a long walk from California to Florida. Just so you know. What? Uh, I mean, a guy ran, so yeah. you can run. And he's diabetic. So, are you I, complaining, I, Garrett? I, I don't understand. I am. I'm not forced up. I can't run across the nation for Jedi. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Well, maybe one day, my friend. Hey, you tell us, ladies and gentlemen. Are you? Wow. It just got very <laughs> epic in here. Yeah, music is spectacular, right? So every time I speak, I feel like we should have music just like that. I uh, really uh, solidify the moment. Um, Epcot always needs to be my soundtrack, I think. But you let us know uh, when it comes to Disneyland, uh, potentially bringing back parades, fireworks in 2021. Do you think that's realistic? Do you think that's something that we're going to see? Um, also, on top of it, are you going to wait to buy tickets until that's something that's available? Let us know in the comment section. As always, we appreciate hearing your perspective. Welcome to this happy place. Welcome.